is Ian and Mo, Central Disc Golf. We are back for the final eight holes of 2018 Firefly Hollow Open, brought to you by Firefly Hollow Brewing. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. Oh, that's a lot, a lot of words. <laughs> uh, was it? Cooper had an epic lead. It got smaller in that last hole of uh, round three, but it's still four strokes. Yeah, and I mean, four strokes out here can go away like in a hurry. We've seen that disappear in one hole. Yeah, I mean, you saw Joe Bishop. Took, Multiple times. Went back-to-back -back sixes in... Uh, and on uh, 14 and 15 so you got to be careful no matter what you're doing and uh hole one i mean i have seen a lot of people kick right into the river and yep. it's very much there so uh definitely got to be careful but he does have that lead to play with you should have told cooper the course is closed <laughs> that's just to let everybody else know <laughs> what's he throwing off the tee here i'm pretty sure this is an m2 okay uh, he's going to finish a little early. Looks like he stayed up, though. Oh, no, I, no. I lied. It's that, it's that spot, man. <laughs> it, they it, all roll to that spot. They all do. James with his ABR X3, as is tradition. A little too much either on that one. Yeah, he actually. I think he went left yeah. of the first tree, which is like really? definitely a shank. But, I mean, he got a great result out of it. What? Yeah, he's on top of the ledge. That's awesome. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, th I really think you should throw something faster. Like it doesn't it doesn't really hurt yeah. to, to hit it into the ledge. Yeah, sure. Everything's just going to roll down. And Joey. Joey Antosca, national collegiate champion. Yes, sir. Huh. Missed the tree. All right. Not a bad result. He, yeah, he plays at a um, like Cape Cod. That oh, area. Okay. James Proctor is also one of those. Wait, really? Yeah. National Collegiate Champion? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah, boy. Joe Bishop. With that pro thundy. He loves that disc. That'll putt. Stays up, thankfully. There's Dan Nay uh, at the local route on uh, Instagram, and he oh. takes like these beautiful pictures. They did great pictures. work. Yeah. 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 He takes beautiful pictures. Definitely give him a follow. Joey's got a look here. It's long, though. Trying to flex a putt up there, but hangs a little bit long. So uh, the rules for the final eight, basically, you can't drop out of the final four. So yeah. Joey and Joe Bishop are just kind of green light running everything. Sure. I love that about the final eight. So yeah. That's the one thing I like. The guy in fourth is just going <laughs> yeah, just balls going the wall. <laughs> oh, oh Cooper. Cooper's just trying to close the door as early as possible. Yep. Uh, Joe Bishop looking for a two. Some tricky footing here. Nah. I remember James ended up after like I don't want to call it a shank, but it was kind of a shank. It was. It got a it got a great bonus roll there. Down trickled down the hill. That's, it. That's a great two. Yeah, yeah straight to final eight there. So yeah, it's a final eight instead of a final nine because um, we wanted to finish on eighteen. Uh, and the original kind of eight hole loop that this course was before we put in the rest of the uh -huh. list was uh, one, two, three, and then cross the road 14 through 18. Um, and it, it just makes a really nice like layout. Loop. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Cool. It's the, it's the loop I like to play. If I like don't have a ton of time, I can't play 18 full holes. I'll just play the final eight basically. Nice. Uh, James getting a stroke on the card there. The Cooper leads down to three. Yeah. I mean, he's got to watch out for sure. Mm -hmm. um, hole two, another place where, strokes can bleed if if uh you leak anything inside left uh, it's just death in there the miss is definitely to go too long straight um you want to try and cut this corner as close as possible and get a skip right around here and hit right around that dead log um no real ob on this one there is the dog park like super long and i've literally never seen anyone go in it but it, it is there so if you, maybe your upshot could go long potentially but yeah Shout out to that squirrel for being the hero of that, <laughs> that, that drum footage. <laughs> Squirrels are brave out here. They are. Ooh, James is going long. Yeah, that's that's like all, almost all the shots we've seen have pretty yeah. much been right there. It's a good mistake, though. Yeah, absolutely. James has had a plan the whole round and mm -hmm. just been executing it over and over again. God, look at this backhand from Cooper. It's yep. so yep. solid. Yep, just doing the same things James did, huh? Yeah. Just take your par. Cooper, like, only recently, like, probably like, a couple of years ago, learned how to throw backhand. He was, really? like, like, only a sidearm player and just, Dang. like, learned it. So. Turns out when you're good at stuff, you can pick up. Yeah, you can pick it up pretty yeah. quick. Joey. That's one of the best shots we've seen. Yeah. Just got unfortunate at the end there. Yeah. And Joe. Huh. 
a little high, but yeah. I, I don't know if he was going for that necessarily, but it worked out well where it rolled out of the out of the stuff on the left. Mm-hmm. And Joe looks like he just laying up for his three. I don't know. Is he? <laughs> he's like, yeah. I'm not happy about it. Did he go a little long? I think he's just thinking like, I, maybe I have to get strokes. I got to go for stuff like that. But. Yeah. And Cooper smartly lays up for his par, which he does well. James doing the same. So pro tip, if you come out to play this course, um, don't hit the log. Because I feel like when I hit the log, it usually rolls, rolls away. Yeah. You want to like scoot it up there. So if you're a pro thinking of playing this tournament next year, let me save you <laughs> the trip to reconnaissance that. Just just throw it short. Just slide it up. Uh, Joey lays up after a pretty nice drive. And Joe. Good putt. Saves his par. Any putt on this on this basket. It's like just high enough where it gets in your head. Yeah, totally. Mr. And <laughs> Tosca drops in with style. Joey's a little, a little on the shorter side. He's like, I got to stretch out for that one. <laughs> All right, we got all pars there as uh, Coop holds on three strokes over James. We got two more on Joey and quite a few on Joe. Uh, Bishop there and hole three, par three. Hole three, one of my favorite holes on the course. We saw Big Game James, Big Game James uh, ace it round one. Um, just a really fun flex shot. And you're actually throwing quite a bit downhill off the tee. It's, it's hard to tell on the video. Um, and then it finishes quite a bit uphill. So um, you basically want to impact something, throw it really hard and flat, and let the stability kind of carry it back into the, carry it back uh, left. Um, or you can do what James did, throw something flippy, and try and like flip it up with just the right amount of turn. That that is a lot harder though. Hopefully you can do it again. Oh, that looks like it's know. see that, and that's the risk if you throw that flippy disc, it's gonna drift it, right. Yeah, and you don't get it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not quite enough hyzer on that release. Cooper reaching for the backhand. Ooh, oh, that missed it. Perfect. Oh, that last little Ooh. laurel branch, dude. He's still pretty close. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's putting. I, I thought that was going to be, like, underneath yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it looked like it was, yeah. yeah. Joey and Tosca. Nope. It looked like that dropped down right, I'm pretty sure. Okay. And right's the better of the two sides to be on. And Joe Bishop. A little that's high. A, that's a couple like high releases in a row. Yeah. Know, if it's something with his grip or something. Mm, easy par at least. Yeah, for sure. And Joey from looks like almost pin high right or is he short here? He, he's quite a he's like probably fifty short to the right. Okay. There are these laurels kind of guarding the right side of the basket that are a little annoying, but we'll see if he can get around them. Okay. Oh, well. Nope. I honestly didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like the answer is no. James, his second shot. So you can float one in. It's like a fun little shot here. Like yeah. You can put it like a wreck to you. That's a good, good hole. Oh, oh <laughs> no. He went quite a bit deep. Yeah. That's actually like not the easiest putt. Really? Back. Yeah, there's okay. those two trees. Uh, this is Joey's third. Oh, that didn't go as well as he planned either. No, that's not an easy putt for four. And he, I, here's why we do the final eight. One of the really the crowd. cool things. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool to just have a bunch of people out watching watching quality disc golf. So, Joe giving that a good bid. Yeah, like that. That's kind of the shot that like a crowd would yeah. go cr go nuts for. So, yeah. uh, Joey looking for a bogey save here. Oh man, that's tough. He he only had like three on Joe I think so yeah. he's going to uh -huh. lose two here he is yeah Cooper for a two which I'm sure he would not mind another stroke on that lead yes, sir there it is yeah I think like Cooper's putting in between from like 20 to like 30 has That's just been like lights out this whole this whole event it's been a huge difference for sure Oh, James, good comebacker. That's a big time putt. Yeah, it, it's, you're putting quite downhill from. You can see he was on top of that little like, mound there. So yeah, totally. It, that's a tough putt for it was, sure. It was definitely going places if it didn't, didn't go in. <laughs> yeah. Good putt from Joe there. He will he will get two strokes on Joey. Yeah, I mean, the difference between third and fourth is like there's a ton of added cash thanks to Firefly Hollow Brewing, and every place is like worth like hundreds of dollars. So yeah.
it's, it's definitely worth Joey's while to be attentive to his... <laughs> and keep on that lead, Yeah, which is now just one. Uh, James is four back of Cooper, though. After Cooper stretched it out with that nice birdie, uh, hole 14 is... It's ruined a couple people's <laughs> days oh, already. Oh, Bishop, man. <laughs> that was oh, a tough watch. Um, but yeah, one of the... Uh, a really fun sidearm, if you have it. Um, so basically, after hole three, you go down the road. Instead of crossing the road to four, you go down the road to your right, and you get to 14. Just throw a sidearm, guys. Just throw a sidearm. You don't know how to throw a sidearm. Learn one so you can play this hole. I really, really discourage you trying to throw a backhand through this gap. <laughs> Cooper likes the forehand. He likes to, also likes to throw him in. Yeah, on this one. saw round three. Yeah, that was great. One hand almost hit Mish. Wow, yeah. that was... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's right there. Yeah. It's right there. Like, yeah. James also goes forehand. Maybe a little wide here, Mo. Maybe working? a little long, but yeah, it's just... James had a plan for this hole, and he stuck to it. And that I mean, that's why he did so well at this tournament. Huh? Oh, this looks great. Oh, my god! You got him. You got him right there real I good. No, that's my fault. Wow. The, but that's, like, the right height for the Oh, yeah. Hand, the, the line right looked angle. beautiful. Yeah. yeah. The action on it for sure. Uh, Joey and Tosca going with the forehand. Get her by. Put some stank on that one. Yeah, he's got a booming sidearm yeah. for sure. Kind of trickles down the hill a little bit, but not too far. Uh, we got Joe Bishop. Ooh, man, he got he's, punished. Yeah, he's just in a tough spot. This hole does not like Joe. Oh, it's staying bad. that go, OB? I, I think it stayed in. Oh, we'll, we'll have to see. The road is right there. Yeah. James just lays up for his par. Mm -hmm. Here's Joey from down the hill. He can probably see, like, the very top sliver of the basket. Ooh. Good effort. Good bid for sure. And Cooper to stretch that lead. Another birdie. Oh. He doesn't need it. <laughs> he doesn't you never it. know, man. 18 is <laughs> lurking. And uh, Joe is going to take a bogey, unfortunately. So Joey's going to get one back. Oh, yeah, Joey you're right. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah, looks like he just nestled right there. No B to worry about. Yeah, I always think. Like the road is closer than it like it is. I always whenever I fly by there, I fly past the basket, I'm like, oh, it's in the road 100. percent And then you actually have a little bit more room than I think. Yeah. Uh, I think. Oh, did Joe go B? I guess he did go B. Joe Bishop. Really? Yeah, I guess. Shoot. Wild. Uh, take it to five right there. Unfortunately. So give him the two back. Yeah, he did. Here's hole 15. Uh, this hole is also like low key, super beautiful. Yeah. There's like the river, and if there's like rain or whatever, this river will be like really moving. Uh huh. Um, there's also a waterfall like right by the basket that's like super cool. You can't see it on this video, um, so you'll have to come here and see it in person. <laughs> I swear I'm not lying. There's like a waterfall right to right. But um, yeah, this basket is just it's beautiful up and green. You just have to throw a straight mid range, man. Just straight mid range with a little bit of finish, or if you're Cooper, you can throw a sidearm. Yep. You still want to make sure it does not finish too hard. Oh, this has enough height that it might, though. Hit something. Oh, wow. Good nestle. Yeah, good nestle for sure. Is that AVR X3 from James? Should throw that all over the place. Right? Uh-oh. I think it's not bad. Yeah, I think that's just a good safe play. Yeah. I think James might know that he's, like, in second. And... and yeah. He's got some strokes to play with and mm -hmm. just doesn't want to mess with anything. Ooh. It's getting <laughs> interesting. <Yeah. laughs> the battle for third is, is definitely doing that. Is this a sidewinder? I think this uh, I'm pretty sure this is a sidewinder. Miss it. Oh, oh hit and then the trickle. Hill. Yeah. Okay, that's putty. He's definitely putting for sure. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed at least one stroke on uh on Joey. Yeah. It's so hard to save. You're definitely not saving far from here. No. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Bishop did that last round. <laughs> yeah. You can see the look on Joey's face. He's like, oh, boy. Oh, man. Got a helicopter down in a hurry. Okay, good. It didn't, like, roll down the hill. Yeah. So that was five. He's putting six. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if Bish can get the two, that's like four strokes. Uh -huh. I, oh, man. 
Here is that two attempt. It's not incredibly close, but it's makeable. Oh, man. Inches. Oh, oh, oh sit there. Ooh. Not super close comebacker either, though. Good oh, putt, Joe. That's a big time putt. It is. I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't like know the scores, but uh, that's a big time putt. Cooper. Barely seeing him bounce. Capitalizes for the two. That's awesome. Wow. Stacking him up. Yeah, he's he's demolishing this that is uh, final eight, huh? Yeah, he is. Playing real well. Uh, James. This will be for a par save. Mm -hmm. A little high, but it's stuck. Uh huh. And Joey four a six. Yeah, James. Uh, good putt. Uh, James is like I feel like he's like Nate Doss kind of like when his when his putt is going, that means he's doing well. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Like his backhand is always consistent. He's always getting where he wants to go. It's just if he's making putts, he's gonna be doing well. They're tied now. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> like I say, it's, I, anything can happen out here. The strokes flying all over the place. That's why woods golf is so great. Like I you, agree. You're yeah. never gonna see this happen on a golf course, right? Not. It, it's just, I don't want to get into a whole thing, but, but you're, it's like, you know, woods gonna, golf is best golf. Woods golf is the best golf. <laughs> yep. A uh, hole 16, par three, really, really tough too. Yeah, it's um, you basically want to throw like a super high. Annie with a mid range or um, or something that's gonna hold the turn the whole way, not increase it or decrease it. Nothing, you know what I mean? Like it needs to be yeah. something neutral. Um, Cooper's just been playing the sidearm the whole the whole weekend. So like yeah, with a H three. Uh, I think that's a, that is a four hundred D one actually. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. That, that's an easy three. That's yeah. what he needs right now. He's been doing it all weekend, and here's James been throwing the rock all weekend. Yeah. And that's just low. Yeah. Not bad. Keep work, going. Work. Yeah. Still fine. Though. Nice line, otherwise. Oh, Bo well, look at this roll. Bo bonus kick. Huh. Oh, that's great. That's fun for two. Yeah. That's one you can expect to make at least half the time. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. Mr. Bishop. Yes, he's got the right idea. Let's see how high he's aiming. It's that pro thundy, isn't it? I th yeah, I think so. This is a different pro thundy, but yeah, it's a really? pro thundy, yeah. It fades out a little bit early, but it's nothing wrong with that one. The crowd approves. The one right there, drone, our drone guy. Uh huh. Nice. And Joey and Tosca looking to come back from that last hole. This is a great looking line too. Maybe a little turnover. Oh, Michelle must have missed it. Yeah, it's okay. He got knocked down. He's yeah. just on the other side of the hill, which is tough because blind, that, right? It's blind. Yeah. So here is his second. Oh, oh my. We might be losing another stroke to Joe here. Yeah. If not two. Joe's in putting range. That was Cooper with his forehand up. And Bishop for two. Oh, he had oh. a tougher look then. Yeah, he was, had some like shrubbery yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like and. Joe, this would be clutch. Oh, uh -oh. man. Uh oh. So there's a stroke right back. Mm -hmm. They're flying back and forth. It's they like three are. And three. What a battle. James, he's got to look for two. Okay, so now I can say it. There was exactly one two on the weekend on this hole. Uh -huh. I want to, And it wasn't even an MPO player. It really? It was uh, MA1, I think Jared, I want to say, his name, I don't want to mess up your last name, but I think it was like Jared Hill. Huh. Um, the only guy who got it. Uh, so, yeah. That's bragging rights. That is huge bragging rights. This whole <laughs> super tough. But, yeah, I, I think next year when this is an A tier and we have, like, a lot of guys who can throw 400, uh -huh. I think this is going to. Oh, yeah. This I, one I think this, people are going to get this one. Yeah. Like, uh, so, Bishop into third place right there. Uh, Coop's got five strokes on James. Let's see how they finish. We've got a couple holes left. First one of those, hole 17. Signature hole. Um, it's signature hole 17 and then signature hole 18. So we got a lot of signature holes out here. But uh, yeah, this one is super fun to play. Um, you're basically just pitching up off this cliff onto this like little tiny island green. It's very picturesque. Um, usually when people post pictures of, the, of their visit here, this is the hole that they uh, post on like Instagram or whatever. Um, super fun shot. You can throw pretty much anything you want. 
Uh, also, very hard hole to film because you can't like stand behind them on the. Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah. Cooper with the forehand. Hopefully that comes down the hill. Oh, oh. man. He's gonna stay up. Stay up. Oh, I found a little gap. That's so unfair, dude. But he's still right there. It's but that, like this called Pro Tour so finale mean. all over again. I know, right? <laughs> we, we're missing a log. We gotta get another log. <laughs> yeah, James. He was opting for the backhand. Still a makeable putt for Cooper, though. Yeah, definitely. Uh -oh. oh, boy. Oh, okay. he got... I don't want to say he got lucky, but that's fortunate. What is what this roll? The, what is this roll? Look at this. He's almost rolling uphill for a hot second there. Wow. He's almost at the drop zone. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a par at least. Hopefully. The drop zone's, like, not easy. That's true. Joe Bishop. Could really use a deuce here. Okay, he's he's right there basically. Hey, he's looking at it. Joey would absolutely love a two. Tie it up with Bishop again. Well, they're putting from a pretty similar spot over there. I, th I think Joey stayed. Oh yeah, because Joey's not going to the drop zone, so his actually did leak over the line. Uh, stay, okay. stay safe. James. Yes, yeah, see, I was worried this might happen. Wow. Again, it's oh man, it's like the just the most awkward distance where like you can't quite putt it, but you don't want to throw anything. You wow. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just like right in that in between distance. It was his third. <gasps> All right, at least he stayed up that time. <laughs> I I know he's like kind of in a spot where he can't really like. Yeah, mess nothing up. Could, too bad can happen. But still. Yeah. Uh, Joe Bishop for the two. Oh. oh. <laughs> I feel you, man. <laughs> Cooper. We both, we both in there. <laughs> yeah, Cooper with the two. Stretch that lead out. How did he make that? I have no idea. He probably could only see like the prodigy. He man. went right over the rim of that, that piece of wood right there. And Antoska with the two. They're tied, tied, they're tied going again. Going into 18. Wow. It, it never fails to produce drama. It's like. Especially in like leagues and stuff, uh -huh. it doesn't matter what your lead is because then you're like, <laughs> "Oh man, I gotta still play 18." You can't let up, man. Yep, there is that two, and there is that tie again. Uh, Cooper just seven strokes out. He's not. He's not losing. <laughs> three, three, Cooper's three down through seven. He's whoa. And he nearly birdied 14. He had the the putt that he just missed. Yeah. He's been destroying this final eight. We are on to hole 18. A uh, long open fairway, OB right, and then you have that that island green at the end there. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's really interesting to see how they'll play it differently potentially because of where they're sitting. Um, because if you're playing it safe, I, I genuinely believe that you have to go over the road to to, to play it safe. Um, just because of the tailwind, and it usually forces uh, sidearms or forces backhand shots kind of back into the ground on, on the green, or on the fairway, I should say. Um, so, yeah, we'll see if they do anything different because of the because of the situation. But one of the most fun holes you can play, just a real, like, you have to think the whole way through this, through this hole. It's a, it's a battle of the Joes here to finish for third place. <laughs> yeah. Well, a Joey and a and a Joe. Yeah, jo is a Joey the same as a Joe? Like, do you, do you yeah. consider that the same? I'm sure they have the same base name of Joseph, probably, right? Maybe I don't know. I, I I'm gonna ask him later. No, yeah. comment in the in the comments <laughs> below, guys. Is, are Joey and Joe the same? <laughs> Cooper with that forehand is trusting it over the road. Oh, not trusting it over the road. Yeah, he didn't even. Know. Yeah. Oh, that's a bonus <laughs> kick. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even mess around with that one. No. And Joey. Dude, he's got like sneaky D with this side. This is pretty far. No, that's not, I mean, it's safe. It's mm -hmm. not bad. Yeah, put the pressure on Bishop. To stay in bounds. Yeah, yeah. He's throwing his glow strike. Uh, oh. Come on. Glow I strike. Don't think so, Mo. Uh, no. Chance. no. Awesome. Oh, boy. That's a. Uh, I mean, it's not over though. There's OB There's the whole, the whole, whole way fairway. up, so yeah. Joey and Tosca could easily throw OB as well. Uh, James, pretty stress-free free position for him. Clear Stop. enough. Stop! Where are you going, Disc? Did oh. that really go OB? God, that's so unlucky. Wow. I feel like that happened to James like every round. Is like it? he just threw that like left to right, and it just if something not, bad he happened. He got very yeah. close. Yeah. Uh, this is Joe Bishop's third shot. Oh, he's 
He rifled that. Is that gonna flex out? Yeah, I think so. Ooh. What a shot at a Joe so three. He can probably get a five. He can, yeah, he can yeah. definitely get a five. He's way up there. Yeah. Uh, Cooper's second shot. This is like victory lap for Cooper. Yes, it is. That's a great shot right there. That'll work. He just gets to throw like 300 foot sidearms all day. Yeah. Like. James probably throwing three. Yeah, he's pitching it. Probably across from there. Joey, I mean, what's he gonna do here? I guess he just gets the layup, right? Yeah, he, he's, that's he's, a smart play. That, that's what he should play do. for the four because he gets the four, you know. Oh, Joe no. Bishop can't really hang. I think he played it too safe. Did he? Yeah. I too short? I th no, I think he played it like it's like he's like pretty close to the river. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, there goes the hope. He's six at best now. Yeah, I think Joey might have actually leaked OB. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. oh my god. <laughs> what a way to finish right there. Dang. Oh man. And Joe Bishop. He's basically gotta put this in and then he'll shoot Joey like that, that one, yeah. yeah. That was a five, I'm pretty sure he'll be taking a six. And this is James. Four or five depending on that OB status. But good shot, whatever it was. Yeah, he's been throwing that shot. He threw that shot like perfect every uh, round. He did, yeah. Uh, Cooper's third. Wow. Playing this whole great when he didn't need to. Oh, this stays bounce, right? Just yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, that wasn't great, though. Actually, it was bad. That was just down <laughs> bad. <Yeah. laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> Cooper, oh, good puck from Joe Bishop. Yeah, way to finish, man. That's still like. A a good turn, like fourth place at yeah. the B tier. There's another That's stop. money in your pocket. That's a, yeah, it's more than your entry fee for sure. Uh -huh. And Joey and Tosca. Taking he's, third. He's super, he's like just a kid, you know. Yeah. That's a yeah. that's a big time finish. Cooper, you, you could have <laughs> laid, you you laid up, my dude. You could have laid up. He wants to finish in style, though, man. It's a finish with a good putt. He's, he's going to make this one, though. He's actually trying. Yeah. I don't think he knows how many <laughs> strokes he has. A lot. Bang. Big time. So back-to-back -back champion. That's right? right, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Cooper actually told me um, before the round, he's like, yeah, you're not a champion until you, like, defend it. Yeah. So. I've heard that before. Yeah, it's really great to see him, you know, come back and back it up. Uh, uh, Joey did go OB there, so, yeah, he just won by one geez, one stroke yeah, there. That, that nearly put it in. It was, that was definitely important. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, Cooper's going to have a hard time doing this again next year when we're in eight tier <laughs> steve brinster if you're if you're listening to this andrew fish come get this title <laughs> we, we need a new champion come try uh, anyway come Cooper, try. cooper's not gonna make it easy dude cooper slices and dices this course because yeah. it's it's a course made for a guy like cooper you know yeah. someone who's gonna stick to a game plan play consistently um, but yeah, man, this is super fun thanks for doing this cool thanks for putting it on man and thanks for filming and editing all that stuff any more shout outs before we uh, bail yeah just shout out to uh, the whole greater bristol crew Polly adorno who like runs the biggest league in connecticut at, at page and shout out to everyone uh, rich fontel dennis mcmahon sean mcmahon all the guys who made this course look as great as it did so uh thanks guys Get a huge thanks to Firefly Hollow Brewing Co. Firefly Hollow Brewing, they're the best. They up their support for next year because it's an A tier. They doubled their support. They came in, putting in a ton of added cash. Um, they gave away free beers for the players' party. Um, just make a whole day out of it. You know, you can come to Bristol, play Page, play Rockwell, go eat lunch at Firefly, go catch a Bristol Blues game. Like we got it all, man. Go go check out ESPN for a tour. Yeah, man. There's a ton of stuff to do in Bristol. So uh, yeah, and we got two courses five minutes away from each other. It doesn't get better than that. Sounds good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll catch you in the next one. All right, later, guys. Trust in us in the universal.